Welcome to the show. My name is Tilly Ekieni Pad. This is Tilly with the Talkative. I am the Talkative. As I keep saying, my name is Tilly. Do subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Now, this is exciting news and I want to start the show with exciting news. The Battle Project by M. Saibo is something you should look out for and it was just reported by the Hollywood Reporter that Ghana is about to experience its first sci-fi movie. Yes! We the sci-fi lovers. Am I a sci-fi lover? Are you? <laughs> if you are, you should really be expecting this one. It's called Adam the First. And I'm excited because, Talim, yo, if you have your movie being spoken about or reported by the Hollywood Reporter, you should know that, yeah, yeah, this is a real deal, like some real hot thing. And I know movie lovers and those who follow the international standard will understand. If you don't understand, it's not for you. Like, <laughs> like I'm not even going to pussyfoot you or anything. If you don't understand what I'm saying, it means that it is not for you. So, please be expecting the, ba the battle project by M. Saibu and it's Adam the First. And I can't wait for the first sci-fi movie. Ghana, wait, are, are we ready for like the first sci-fi movie? Are we? Like, are we really ready? Let's move to the next conversation, shall we? Now, you're welcome back. Another thing that has been trending in Accra, Ghana, and the entertainment industry all over has been something I didn't want to talk about, but it looks like I have to talk about. Now, um, you know Shatawale is in London, and he was there for the Ghana Music Awards Youth Day, and during his stay there, we saw a release from him and his team that says that he is willing. If I let me just read a bit of it. He said, I'm making it moderate for promoters around UK and Europe to have a feel of the Shatter movement, so don't be scared to about my race card anymore do, do, do. you do for me i do for you and then this one was on the picture that says early bed tickets sold out then we were you know some of us were like okay cool i mean Tale, he's out there he wants to do more it's okay but someone like me i had my own grievances because i was like okay now if shatawale says he's out there and he's willing to work with promoters out there Given the time he's there and the time the promoters have the, you know, the time the promoters will have to actually put out a show that is befitting to the brand Shatawale is very short. Because mind you, if you are a promoter, Shatawale is a hot commodity. Whether you like it or not, Shatawale is a hot commodity. So if you, Shatawale says that I've reduced my price or my price have been moderate and I'm willing to give back to you people it means that any serious promoter will want to take advantage of it but then in order to take advantage of it now it means that the quality and the time you will have to prepare or do something that will be up to the top class branch at Awale is that part might be missing that was my initial sentiment when i saw that post then moving on we were there and Shatawale and his team, they dropped a very, very lengthy, uh, what do you call, <laughs> press release that says the show had been cancelled because, first of all, um, the, the, the organizers couldn't meet the luxurious demand of the brand and all of that. And of course, this has stirred up a lot of, of conversation. First off, I agree 100. Whatever move Shatawale made and his team, it is true, it is correct. It goes to buttress the first thing I said, that the brand Shatawale if he wants to do any show, any place, the way the Ghana Music Awards UK people had time to prepare something, even that, even though they had, that's why Crown Munya and Reno, there were still some small, small challenges. So imagine a promoter trying to pull a show in a short time with a brand like Shatawale. There, there is always going to be a problem of standard and quality to meet the, the brand Shatawale, no matter how he reduced the prices. Now, the, the press release has caused a lot of stain. Now, the first, the second paragraph is what, to me, I felt like it shouldn't have been in it. According to them, the, the, the rider and the things, the contractual re re requirements of the thing were not able to be provided by the organizer. First of all, does that not go and debunk the purpose of reducing and being moderate? First, let, let me take it again. You said you have cut everything or you are going to do everything in moderation for the organizers or promoters to be able to work with you. So how then do you come back and then say that you couldn't do that show because the organizers couldn't meet your writer and your luxurious demands? So where, 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 where was the moderation and where was the cut? You do for me, where I do for you. No, where did that happen? 
No, but you get it. You said, I mean, you said you took 80,000 pounds. So I'm thinking that if anything, if you're going to reduce, okay, let's say you, you even decided to do 50%, which is 40,000 pounds. So the organizer, and if you're right, there's certain things that your technical rider and your hospitality rider, there's certain things that initially the Shatawale brand would not tolerate. I mean, as long as you said you were going to make it very moderate, I'm thinking you were willing to come to certain compromises so that you will do for the promoters what they have done to you. You see? So why is it now, um, this is crowd, why does it always come to about? Why are you now saying that it is the, you know, they couldn't do their part because you of your luxurious uh, um, demand. So where was the compromise and where was the moderation that you stated? Where is it? Moving on, the next paragraph that um I think that it surprised me was the fourth. The past that says, so refunds will, uh, they, will they are going to refund people that have bought the ticket. Why is it that I'm going to refund the people who have bought the ticket? Because I'm thinking that he was doing this with a promoter. And if you're saying that the promoter didn't meet a certain standard, why was the ticket pay coming straight to Chatawali? Like, why do you have to refund? I'm thinking that if anything, if there's going to be any refund, maybe certain payments they made to you and you are going to refund it. But why are you the one going to refund people that bought the ticket? I don't understand. Was the ticket purchase coming straight to Chatawali? What was the deal? It's something crazy. I, in fact, as for this one, I need somebody to just school me. Just school me. When somebody is working with the promoter, does the ticket sale go straight to the artist or does it go to the promoter? And then, after, because I'm thinking that now that you said in your um, thing that you were going to let the people pay, come for your rate card and pay you in moderation. No, I am thinking that they are just going to pay you and then the money they make or what was the deal? And even if the deal was that you split the profits of the other gate, I don't think it is when they are buying the, uh, the tickets now, there and then you two are getting the money straight. Why is, Shatawale, why, why is it that Shatawale is the one going to refund the tickets for the people? I, I don't understand that part. That part really tricks me. So what? Is it, is it his own event? Was the money coming to him? Ticket sales, were they coming to him straight? What is the conversation there? That part really, really surprises me. Now... The thing that surprises me again is that why is it why is this becoming like a pattern with Shatawale? A brand like Shatawale hasn't had a full settlement on a deal but has announced with flyers. This reminds me of a show at the stadium where payment was not made by flyers were out. So until the deal is up to your standard and up to the expectation and you realize that you know what we've dotted all the i's and crossed all the t's why do you push flyers out and who were you kidding with early bird tickets so this is what i like to see and now what is going on like for me everything like i'm seeing now it's giving low ticket sales because <laughs> really like nah 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 it's giving low ticket sales because mind you as long as you are willing to cut your price down, it means that you were certain that the thing they were going to do were not going to be, it was not going to be up to standard because maybe the time is short to pull an event to a Shatawale standard. And the pricing, it means that you were willing to compromise. So now that you are not willing to compromise again, what happened? It's just that it could be that the ticket sales did not go as you expected. So, what am I missing <laughs> yeah. Now, another thing I think we have seen that has dropped has been the promoters, the Bezel Entertainment. They have also come out to say they are shook that they woke up and then Shatawale and his team has put out a press release cancelling the event. Meanwhile, they have a clause in the thing that says that if there's any reason for us to cancel, we'll have to have an initial agreement. Like, let's sit down and try and settle things amicably because we have made 50 percent commitments for the deal so how come we woke up one day and we are seeing that our show has been cancelled on social media i think shatter fans can answer this i, I really don't know <laughs> i don't know i really don't know i just don't know because i am also surprised you said you were going to be moderate with us we have come we have made 50% commitment. I mean, according to them, Chatawale's team to come and see maybe they didn't get the 50% commitment. But whatever other thing that was supposed to be added, maybe it was very important to him than the pay that they've made. Nonetheless, I am hoping they are able to resolve it amicably because Chatawale is not having a good record with 
canceling of show, not showing up for events, those kind of things. So this thing that he did with the Ghana Music Awards to UK people, it was an exciting thing. It was like, okay, cool. Tawale is showing that he really wants to do this. And when I saw that he wants to cut down his price, I'm like, okay, at least like he's showing a certain level of commitment only for this to happen. I just hope that they are able to settle it. And it looks like the promoters are not giving up on the show completely. They are also hoping there can be hope to pull up a show like that. But if there is, please, let's resolve this amicably. I don't want to people to use this to throw or anything. The thing is that cutting down on your price and the time of production was obviously going to affect something. Like something has got to give. And if you were not ready for that commitment, why then do you tell promoters you do it? That's my only thing. No? And why is it the one going to refund for the ticket and not going to refund the organizer? Rather for 50% that they took. What is going on here? This is the thing that is baffling. And sometimes when we say things, and yeah, fans, nobody is hating on Wale when they say that the time to pull an event for a brand like Wale is too short. You see? Time, time has proven that those that had that thing, it, it's true. Because if it's about giving Satawale a show he deserves, in a short time like that, Charlie, I'm not they, they do, they, it's not like Ghana that you, you you can just go and meet one or two people and then have a, a good show. Everything has to be done in order. So if you are now going there and then you feel like, oh, because I'm there, I can do something for the artist, you should, you should, be, you should be ready that, or you should be ready to accept that for that. They will not be able to pull that standard that you wish to get. So now, where is the compromise or the, you do for me, I do for you part of it? Where is it? We are still back to the table. Well, this has been T with the Talkative. Do subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, and if there's anything you have to do, do it now.